Zimmer, I'm a rock drummer. I've been playing drums about 30 years at least. And you started with the full kit or you started with bongos? No, I just started playing on my legs and just moved on to the drum set. And Have you always been in a wheelchair, or is this something that happened later, or is it from... Yes, it is from birth. I've always been in a wheelchair. I could walk some when I was younger with braces, but when I fell down, I had a hard time getting up, and, you know, unless there was a chair around or something. So, so the chair just was a little better. He is not handicapped, he is different. And he has the most patience in the world and he'll, he can do anything anyone else can do. It just takes him longer. Cool. Dean Zimmer, the mean Dean drumming machine. When I was in fifth grade, I joined band. I didn't take lessons till I was 16 and I started lessons and I was gung-ho on uh, playing drums. After high school, I played around the Twin Cities professionally. In 1994, I was playing a gig in Rochester. You know, I was anxious to get home. I was driving and I was getting a little tired so I thought I would head over to the casino and maybe drink some coffee and play blackjack. And that's the last thing I remember. I guess my car went around a sharp left turn and it flipped over five to seven times and I had a C6-7 incomplete spinal contusion. I was able to move my wrists a little bit, but I couldn't really move my fingers or grasp anything. Eventually, um, I did want to get back to playing again and the counselor said, Jason, if you're missing drums so much, do a comeback concert. I talked to my musicians and they were all for it. That came to fruition couple years after my accident. If anybody was to just walk by and look at my drum set, they would think it looks like a normal drum set. In fact, it's a very special drum set. Uh, the bass drum is not really a bass drum. It's a, a subwoofer that's actually suspended inside of the bass drum. So it sounds like a real bass drum every time I hit it. And then I use these electronic pads uh, to actually play the bass drum because I'm not doing anything with my feet. I've got this mouth trigger. When I do hit my cymbal and I'm blowing into the mouthpiece, it activates a gate that um, allows me to play a bass drum when I'm hitting a cymbal. So no matter what cymbal I hit, it will trigger a kick drum. Um, so it's really cool. So check it out. Now, without, through 10 years of, of experimentation, I finally came up with something that works. This is my invention right here. It's just a ring trigger that goes right on the cymbal stand. It's just made out of rubber. Then you just put it on there like that, put a piece of cymbal felt down, you pop, pop the cymbal on. The whole point of this drum set is for an exact setup every single time. Basically, I take my sound with me wherever I go, and that means wheels. <laughs> Not only am I on wheels, of course, but the drums uh, have got wheels with uh, brakes on them, so it's so easy for me to push it around. I don't have to pick it all up and reset it up. I just uh, unlock the wheels and push it out, so it makes things easy to use.
I started playing the drums uh, around uh, 13. The instrument immediately became Adolf Rodeljic's world. It gave him confidence and then a career. I was in a Kiss tribute band. That was it. It became a family affair at that point. They all wanted to go to my gigs. He passed his passion on to his son. Then two years ago, during his day job in construction. Elevator shaft. I fell 10 feet. You just can't imagine how your life changes. And the first thing that he said um, as he lay there, I mean, he had tears streaming down his, his face. And he said, oh my gosh, I'm never going to play my drums again. And he worried he'd never play again with his son. Rodeljic was paralyzed. He fell into a dark place until The New Yorker met Minnesotan Jason Gerling. Brother! Brother! Welcome to Risen Drums! Yes! <laughs> Minneapolis-based Risen Drums signed on to make custom drums for sale to anyone. He leveled the playing field for not just disabled drummers or disabled people for that matter. Anyone now can play a drum set. Cool, all right, so what's your name? My name is Joe Hardy. All right, and uh, so this is an awesome setup, I have to say. How did you, did you make this? Um, yeah, actually, me and a, a friend of mine, uh, he owns a company called IHOC Systems, and uh, we built it together, and uh, yeah, came up with the idea. Was this all from out of necessity? I mean, uh, obviously, how did you lose your legs? Uh, actually, I was born this way, so really? it was from okay. birth. Congenital. Okay. Yeah, 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 I was right. from birth. But, you know, actually, this, Sort of, it's just an extension of, you know, I also play in a regular acoustic drum kit, but I just kind of wanted to be able to, uh, you know, play on the go, you know, and, and I thought it would be cool if I could uh, build a kit that was kind of able to, uh, you know, wherever I go, I can play, you know, and it's all self-sustained. All the amps and all the speakers and everything all kind of are powered by the batteries, and so everything kind of kind of is on the go. So right. this is incredible. So how do you? Is it hard to get all the equipment actually on here and make sure you know it's all powered and everything? And does it drain the battery like crazy? Um, actually, we we actually we use a car battery to power the uh, oh. the amps and the uh, drum brain, and then and then the scooter has its own separate battery. So oh, okay. so it's on two battery systems, and then we use an inverter to convert the power so that we can power up everything. So are you looking to actually make this a little more widespread for other people with handicap to maybe be able to do something like this? Um, yeah, I mean, we're definitely uh, yeah, open to the uh, possibility of yeah, building this for other people. Yeah, this is really neat. So where did this idea, did this idea just spur from you're like, I just want to play on the go and do, I mean, how did it really get started? What was that first moment like when you thought of this? <laughs> well, you know, like I said, it was kind of one of those things where I, I just liked the idea of being able to, you know, my vision was that I could just roll right out on a stage and just, you know, play, you know. You guys are probably wondering how I hold it, right? Well, I'll tell you. I use a tennis wristband, doubled over, with rubber bands around the wristband. And I put the stick in like this. And on my left hand, I can grip it with my thumb. So here we go. some help from you guys. Okay, y'all gonna keep a beat for me, all right? Check it out, do this. Put your clap, right? Come on, Wade. Band, because you're not a grouchketeer. 
but, but, but Oscar, she's a great musician. Uh, you should hear her play, really. Do I have to? Uh, go on, Evelyn. Play something uh, for Oscar. Okay, okay. Let me take my shoes off. You gonna play with your feet? Hey, this could be grouchier than I thought. <laughs> well, it's just that it helped me hear the music. Uh, Evelyn's deaf, Oscar. She can't hear. Yeah? yeah? Then how could she hear what we're saying? I'm reading your lips, Oscar. Oh, well, quit reading and start playing. I haven't got all day. <laughs> okay, dokie. Whoa. Ha, ha, ha. I told you she was good. Yeah, I'll say. So, can she play in the Grass Guitar Band? No. But ask her. You said she was good. Well, I don't need good. I need grouchy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, not grouchy enough. Sorry, audition is over. But Oscar, you gotta let her play. She came all the way from Scotland just to play in the Grouchketeer Band. And Evelyn can play just about anything. Anything? How about my trash can? Your trash can? Mm -hmm. You want a great musician like Evelyn Glennie to play your trash can? Yeah. Stand back, please. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> wow, what a sound. That was the grouchiest music I've ever heard. So, so, so can she play in the Grouchketeer band? Playing it? I hope she never stops. Oh, Oscar, thank you. And now, the Grouchketeer band will play Sonata for Crushed Cans, Torn Boots, Dented Horn, and Trash Can by Ludwig von Blackhoven. Oh, great! Yeah. <laughs> okay, Grouchketeers, a one and a two and... <laughs> Talk about easy listening. Ah. <laughs>